We begin this hour in Syria, where after five years of civil war in the country, daily images of the horror are often overlooked. But now new pictures of a child injured during an air raid on his home have caused outrage around the world. This footage that you're seeing was released by the opposition Aleppo Media Center. It shows the moment several wounded children were pulled from the rubble of a house in Aleppo, including five-year-old Omran Daknish. Omran was treated for head wounds and has reportedly been discharged from hospital. It's been reported that his parents and three siblings also survived the airstrike, but activists say some of the others injured in the attack remain in critical condition. Social media users are sharing the image to draw attention to the horrible conditions faced by the Syrian people, particularly in Aleppo. Now, this map shows the countries where people have sent tweets in the last few minutes about five-year-old Omran. They're calling on, international, on the international community to actually do something to help Syrians. The latest outpouring of emotion has been prompted by the sight of this little boy rubbing his face, looking at his hand and seeing his own blood and then trying to wipe it away. The violence and the lack of aid getting to Syria isn't going unnoticed at the UN. The envoy for Syria has cut short a meeting of humanitarian task force, saying it is useless while fighting continues on the ground. Fighting in Syria has prevented aid deliveries to four key areas currently being besieged. Also, the UN is saying that no aid deliveries have made it to any part of the besieged areas so far in August. The UN is reiterating its call for a 48-hour truce in Aleppo so that aid can reach those in need. Stefan de Mistura plans to reconvene the group next week. I suspended the IHDF meeting as a symbol of deep concern and as a sign of respect towards the World Humanitarian Day tomorrow and as a sign of deep unhappiness about the fact that due to the lack of a pause, no humanitarian aid is reaching anywhere Syria at the moment except the resort. And Aleppo is still Eastern Aleppo besieged and Western Aleppo in threat of becoming besieged. TRT World's Edis Tianshan joins me now from the southern Turkish city of Mersin near the Syrian border. It is. I want to start off with these shocking images that are being shared on social media of Omran. Uh, what more do we know about uh, the plight of this Syrian boy? Well, this five-year-old boy named Omran uh, was just saved, reportedly was saved from a rubble of a house in the rebel-held eastern part of Aleppo following airstrikes by the Syrian regime on Wednesday night and those images captured by witnesses on the ground are from that night uh, as the boy is taken to a hospital uh, called M10. Now uh, we're hearing that this boy was already discharged as of this uh, morning and he, he, he continues to receive a treatment and hopefully he will get better but uh, the images of the night are really devastating, heartbreaking and even haunting as you see that boy sitting in that orange chair inside an ambulance by himself completely vulnerable he's alive he's conscious and possibly in a shock uh, he's completely covered in dust and at some point he uh, wipes uh, the blood on his head and really it, this is just encapsulating all the horrors inflicting on uh, that entire city and its population but especially uh, children have really paid a price because we are reporting about these continuous airstrikes in Aleppo and on the civilian communities there and even Idlib in other areas but uh, children continue continue to uh, lose their lives because of this incident and that image and the video of it also have completely gone viral and now we will uh, continue to probably know Omran as the Aleppo boy and it's just putting further pressure really on the international community to finally uh, take an action. It is truly moving pictures of this five-year-old um, Omran boy. All right, now these airstrikes aren't only affecting Aleppo. Um, we're also seeing uh, airstrikes for the first time in Hasaka uh, by Syrian regime forces. Give us an update on that, please. 
Well, this is a new trend, uh, Ali Jan. We are now seeing a Syrian regime together with its Russian ally not only targeting Aleppo and Idlib, the uh, Syrian moderate opposition uh, in several areas, but also Kurdish groups. Because up until recently, uh, the particular city called Hasek in the north, uh, its control was uh, somewhat peacefully shared between the Syrian regime allied forces and Kurdish groups there, namely the YPG and the larger pro-American coalition that now it belongs to Syrian Democratic Forces. Lately, especially in the past week or so, uh, the situation escalated there. We've seen some uh, cross-border clashes and even mutual kidnappings between the two groups. And now we're seeing the Syrian regime for the first time uh, conducting airstrikes on the Kurdish groups there. And remember, I emphasize again, these are uh, pro-American, American-backed rather, Syrian Democratic Forces, the majority of which are the YPG. So this is a change in the battle tactics, in the strategies uh, in the area. And we are seeing now the Assad regime actively targeting American interests as well. All right. It is Tian Shan reporting live for us in southern Turkey in Mersin. Thank you.